Yo, I'm back with another short video. Um, I've got good news. I um, I think I figured out a way to emulate Petite Computer on like an actual computer. So streaming is not going to be a problem much longer. But uh, that I'm I'm not going to know for sure. It, it's shipping out. Uh, either at the end of this month or next month. I'll I'll explain everything in detail whenever I get the chance on another video. But uh this for this video we're going to look at a uh, dialog. I don't know if I've I've covered dialog before or not, but uh it, it it's got a lot to it. Uh, I'm I'm just going to this is just introductory, just basic stuff. I start off on the first line clearing the screen. Uh, on line three, we have dialogue. The, now, the first parameter of dialogue is your your text that's the in the body of the dialogue. And if you've never seen the dialogue pop up, it's it's like a pop up that comes up on the touch screen. And uh, so the next parameter, it's uh, zero through five. I'm just going to cover zero and five right now. Zero is just you know, plain old OK button. Five is a next button. And the third parameter is that text that's at the very top. It's kind of like whenever you open up a, a window or something and in a, on a PC and, you know, at the very top it says, like, the program name. It's, it's exactly like that. And the very last parameter is how long the window stays open. Now, if you put it at zero, then the window is just going to stay open indefinitely. Now, in the next dialog, uh, I, I change that second parameter from zero to five, so it's going to have a next button instead of an OK button. And pretty basic stuff. But like I said, dialog has a lot more to it. And a lot more to the parameters and stuff. And it could be useful if you need, like, quick dialog boxes if you're doing something technical and what have you. And uh, on line 7, I, I actually incorporate the, the time. I, I put 1 in there. I, I guess it's 1 second. I mean, it pops up for a, a little bit more than a second. But that, that's what I suppose the the timetable is is that you enter the number of seconds that the box will stay open before it closes.